Okay, how's it going everybody? Today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing Tabac Original. This is an Eau de Cologne by Maurer and Wurtz. Uh, so one of you guys was saying in the comments a little while back that I should check this one out. So I listened to you, I added it to my latest, uh, my latest haul, and uh, here we go. So this one's for you guys. This one was released in 2014, although I know that the original was, I mean, it was originally made a long time ago. They must have reformulated it. Um, but this scores a 4.01 out of five on Fragrantica, so not bad. Um, and I picked it up for right around eight bucks uh, on FragranceNet, and this is a 50 milliliter. Um, so yeah, so this is Eau de Cologne, so it's, I expect it to be a little bit weaker, um, but we'll see, you know. Uh, the notes of this one are, Top notes of pedigree, bergamot, neroli, pepper, and lemon. So very nice and fresh. Middle notes of chamomile, interesting. Uh, lavender, geranium, and oak. And then base notes of carnation, which is kind of that almost a spicy type of a uh, floral. Sandalwood, musk, vetiver, and amber. Okay, so a lot of notes. That usually tells me that it's a kind of an older fragrance. People like to, you know, uh, Bring it down to a couple couple main notes these days when they're talking about the newer fragrances. Even though there may be this many materials in it, it's sort of just difference in advertising, you know, kind of the uh, advertising magic. So here's the box. Yeah, nothing super special about the box. Very simple. Here's the bottle inside. Oh, and it is actually glass. I expected this to be a, uh, a plastic container because it looks sort of uh, plastic in the photos. So it says Tabac Original on it um, since 1959. So yeah, this company, Moore and Wurtz, has been around for a really long time. This is made in Germany, if you couldn't tell by the name of uh, Moore and Wurtz. So let's check out the cap. Okay, so the cap actually, it's plastic, but it has a decent weight to it. Um, so I actually really like that cap. I think it's tastefully done, and it has sort of a brown matte finish on it, okay? Underneath we'll find the uh, the atomizer, which is metal, and the collar itself is also metal. So I know I say that on a lot of the fragrances, um, and it might sound redundant, but a lot of them actually the collar will be plastic, uh, depending on the fragrance um, itself. So you know it's worth worth noting definitely the build of it is really rather nice, um, and I like the shape of the bottle as well, with a uh, totally completely translucent. Well, no, not even translucent. It's it's. Totally opaque um, glass, white glass. So, looks really nice. So let's give it a spray. We'll see how the atomizer works. Okay, it's a good atomizer. See that? Nice, nice projection of the atomizer. Um, and I can smell it from here. Holy smokes. So for an eau de cologne, I mean, this is really the OG type of eau de colognes, you know, that just really projected back in the day. Uh, they used to make some powerhouse stuff, huh? Uh, this is one of them. This is, it's 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 pretty beast mode. Um, definitely has a classic feel to it, a dated feel, but very nice, very fresh. You really get that pedigree. I mean, this is this is similar to, um, I think it's called, is it called 4711? Yeah, 4711. Um, the original cologne by Millens. Um, that's. Very similar, gets that kind of barbershop vibes, right? The original type of barbershop type fragrance with that strong pedigree. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. It's so fresh, the neroli, bergamot, lemon up top. Maybe I get chamomile, I'm not really sure, but I definitely get that lavender, that oak. It's really projecting through. Maybe a little bit of that spicy floral from the carnation. In the base, I'm getting very strong musks, but I'm not getting a whole lot of vetiver, not a whole lot of amber sweetening it up. This is very, you know, very fresh. It's not super versatile. It's more like a spring summer fragrance or if you're just straight out of the shower or you're going to work or something, you want to smell fresh. This is amazing. So for some of you who like kind of the more modern take on fragrances, this might not be for you. But I really appreciate some of the older, more dated fragrances, and I, I, I think you guys will like this one. It's just, it's so fresh, it's so clean, a little bit of soapiness, but that's okay. Very nice, strong musk, old school musk that they're using. Maybe even like musk ketones, you know, some just real strong musk. Um, I really like that. That's easily, for me, it's easily a 9.5 out of 10. 
That's an amazing fragrance for its time. It's definitely dated. It's definitely not a modern take on, on, uh, on a men's cologne, but man, it's good. The projection, I would say a uh, strong projection, not even moderate, just strong projection. Um, pretty beast mode. Let's see what people are saying as far as uh, longevity, because again, this is my first smell on it. Um, so we'll see. People are saying moderate, uh, moderate to weak longevity. Um, and they're saying moderate sillage? I don't know, I don't think so, guys. I mean, you saw, I only sprayed it a couple times on there and it is strong. I think it's kind of the, that was the times where just those beast mode colognes, you, you guys know what I'm talking about, kind of those older fragrances that really project out there, like the Zeno Davidoff type, type stuff, Zeno Davidoff type stuff. Um, so yeah, really like this one. It's cheap, just throw it in your next haul. Oh my gosh. I really like it. Yeah, the, the cap snaps back on nicely. Great presentation, super, super cheap. Uh, they come in a, a bunch of sizes, more sizes than they usually offer these days with the more modern fragrances. Um, so that's always a plus. Totally recommend it, guys. I'll throw a link to uh, FragranceNet, and if I can find it on Amazon, I'll throw an affiliate link in there um, in the description. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.